So I'm really excited to talk about what's up and coming in, in, in Fedora 16. And Fedora 16 has been a great cycle for, for development. We've seen lots of new features. Um, we've seen new versions of desktop environments. So, so we've seen, you know, on, on GNOME, we've gone from GNOME 3.0 that we had in Fedora 15 to GNOME 3.2. We've also seen updates um, from sort of a systems administrator standpoint, whether it's management tools, whether it's cloud-related tools, either for using Fedora in the cloud or using Fedora as a building block to help people build their own clouds. Um, lots of new features in Fedora 16. In Fedora 15, we shipped GNOME 3.0, which had a new UI, a new way of interacting, and one of the things we've done in Fedora 16 is to polish it a lot, add more features to make it easier to use, make it easier for everyone to do their day-to-day -day work. There's online account setup where you can easily access your online accounts for chat, for email, for calendar, and so on. We've also added new contact lookups that will pull from these online accounts and show you all your contacts, which ones you have on the local machine, which one you have on the network, their current status, whether it's email, whether their current away or busy status. And we've also included a new document finder so you can easily find your local documents, your documents that are out in the cloud, and easily browse them to find which ones you've used recently, which ones you've edited recently, which ones someone just sent you. And so just to make the whole desktop experience a lot easier to use. So AutoQA is a, uh, as the name implies, a uh, automated quality assurance system for Fedora. <coughs> uh, I guess the best way to think about it is instead of a fully automated test system that's going to run performance, uh, integration tests, function tests, uh, at this stage in its development, AutoQA is focused on package level verification. So uh, uh, the common use case is a, uh, a maintainer in Fedora builds a package, pushes it out into, uh, into Koji. Uh, or wants to push out an update into Bodhi, AutoQA detects certain events at those, you know, detects some of those events and then triggers different, different tests at, those, uh, at that time. In Fedora, we also allow you to build your own cloud, whether it be your own public cloud that you expose to other people or your own private cloud that you have for your own infrastructure. Uh, one of the concerns that a lot of people have had with cloud computing is that they don't want to be locked into one vendor. They don't want to be locked into one provider where if one provider's cloud storage goes down, then their entire infrastructure goes away for some period of time. So what we've tried to do in Fedora is to ensure that people have choices in their cloud usage. One of the tools we've integrated in Fedora 16 is called the Aeolus Conductor. And what it is, is a full web user interface to multiple cloud providers where you can deploy your images to Amazon EC2, you can deploy them to Rackspace, you can deploy them to your own private cloud. And you can, from a single interface, deploy them, monitor them, configure them, and make sure your infrastructure is up and running. So one of the things that we do in, in the Fedora development is we try to make sure that we're, we're on, the, on the edge of, of new technologies. One of these uh, new technologies is obviously virtualization. We've seen over the past two or three years that people are doing all kinds of new things with virtualization. And we want to make sure that Fedora is on the kind of the cutting edge of, of what's new in virtualization. A lot of people wonder where there are places where the community can get involved in Fedora, since sometimes it seems described as basically a Red Hat driven project. But the great thing about Fedora is as it goes on, we see more and more communities spring up within Fedora to do their own thing. For example, in Fedora 16, we have a feature for the D programming languages. We have feature for updates of the Haskell programming languages. And these aren't things that are necessarily driven by Red Hat or driven by Red Hat's product priorities. These are things that the community has stepped up and decided, you know, I want to be able to do this in Fedora. I want to have my community that works on these things. And in Fedora, they can join up and do that. So one of my favorite parts of being the Fedora project leader is being really able to interact with the community and help as we go through the development cycle as we're building Fedora 16. Um, interact with the people, inter interact with the different groups, uh, whether it's the engineering steering committee, whether it's our ambassador steering committee, whether it's the cloud SIG or the docs SIG, these special interest groups that we have within Fedora. Um, it's been absolutely fantastic to be able to work with these teams on a daily basis and really help drive the innovation, help um, drive the new features that are, that are going to become a part of Fedora 16.